Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we will look at uh, the Dirac notation that we use it in uh, quantum mechanics to represent uh, qubits. It's also called as ket. So, how many times we have seen something like this? The quantum state is written something like this, with a vertical line and a uh, some some bracket like this. This is known as uh, the ket or the Dirac notation. Basically, it's it's uh, it's actually representing a vector because the quantum mechanics is full of uh, vectors and it's full of linear algebra. And to understand that why we have a lot of vectors in quantum mechanics, we have to understand a single qubit system. So a single qubit system is written as uh, ket as alpha times 0 plus beta times 1 uh, where 0 and 1 are known as the basis states and alpha and beta are the complex probabilities. So we need vectors to store complex probabilities because in quantum state of qubits the quantum states have multiple possibilities with their own respective probabilities. So to store them we need vector. For instance here uh, the psi is nothing but a vector of the complex probability uh, with which it can be both 0 or 1 or a mix of zeros and 1s. So to store the complex probabilities as a vector uh, instead of writing the whole vector uh, we write it as something like this which represents basically the vector uh, that could be made of different probabilities. Similarly, if you go for a two qubit system, that also contains four probabilities with 0, 0, plus alpha 1, with a basis state of 0, 1. With different probabilities, it can exist in one of these basis states. So alpha 3 times 1, 1. So here the, the vector is the complex vector some becomes like this. So in other words, uh, we see that the vectors store the probabilities attached to each of the basis states and writing in this way actually makes it very easy to represent quantum superpositions or uh, it's a very compact and powerful way to actually represent the vectors that are involved in quantum mechanics. So this is the cat for you. Thank you for watching.